Hello and happy Friday. We have got a warm, slightly overcast, slightly rainy Friday. But it looks like it's going to be a start to a great weekend. Tomorrow we are supposed to get up to close to 70 degrees. And it's going to be sunny. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Of course, that means yard work, so maybe I should be looking forward to it. It'll be good just to be out, get some fresh air, not have to worry about uh, the cold. It'll be nice. So, let's get on the road. It has been a heck of a week, and I am tired. And I'll tell you why. Since I navigate out of this parking spot. So, I found out on Tuesday that I needed to be in Toronto for business reasons on Thursday. Um, the way the trip worked out, I had to leave yesterday, Thursday morning at 3 a.m. and I got back home last night, Thursday night, a few minutes before midnight. <laughs> so I just barely had it qualify as a one day trip. But uh, it was a long day, and I don't, I don't even remember like walking through the front door last night or uh, going to bed. I just woke up this morning and was a bit surprised to find myself home. And you know, there were there were certainly days when I could have done that and gone straight into work the next day and just shrugged it off, but. I think those days are gone. I I was really feeling it today. I mean, I was a zombie most of the day. Worked a relatively short day. And, uh, yeah, well, got the job done. I guess that's what matters. But I think I'll be uh, hitting the sack early tonight. I'll try to catch up on some of that sleep. You know, work is like that sometimes. It, it's I used to travel a lot. I think I've talked about that before. And I'm very thankful that I don't do that anymore. It uh, gets old fast. You, know, you tell people you travel in business, and they say, "Oh, that must be so nice." And you know, they get this idea that it's this glamorous. Uh, it's it's not. There's nothing glamorous about it. I mean, you. You spend most of your time in uh, hotel rooms and airports. You never see the places you visit, and it's it's exhausting. It's you um, know, especially when you're when you're doing travel to other countries because then you got to deal with customs and all that kind of stuff. And I have to admit, the customs in at least at the Toronto airport have dramatically improved since the last time I I flew and, and had to go through customs. They use these computerized kiosks, and uh, they're they're fantastic. Much superior to uh, what used to be like an hour of standing in line just so you could tell somebody that you didn't have uh, ten thousand dollars in your pocket. Oh, by the way, I don't think I said the cigar. It's uh, Drew Estate's sh Shade uh, Underground Shade. Not the first time I've had one of these on on a Friday ramble, but I like them. 
somebody recently asked me for a recommendation for a cigar in one of the comments, and I, I don't remember who it was, but they asked, you know, a pipe smoker that is interested in trying cigars, what would you recommend? And, and this is the, the cigar I'd recommend because I, so I, I like, I, I don't typically go for a Connecticut wrapper. And I really don't like, you know, Dominicans or any of those lighter cigars. But I understand that, you know, somebody that's just getting into cigar smoking is probably not going to want to jump right into the deep end and, you know, smoke something like, uh, uh, like a Liga Privada or something like that. It's going to be too, too, too intense. But I don't think it's right to steer them towards those really mild cigars because then they're not getting any flavor out of it. And if they're a pipe smoker already, they're probably used to getting flavor out of the smoke. And I think this is just a really nice compromise. It's relatively mild, but it's got flavor. And it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a tasty cigar. I really like it. And it's the one... Connecticut wrap cigar that I will routinely smoke. And this is the I think this is a Grand Toro size. I, I usually gravitate towards Toros and Robustos because well it's interesting, you know, the, the, the really large ring gauge cigars, they're quite popular these days, or have been, I, I assume they still are. I'm not exactly sure why. Unless it's just a, uh, you know, it seems more manly to smoke a giant cigar. I don't know. But uh, I've found that when you go to the smaller ring, ring gauge, uh, you know, something like a Toro or a Robusto, you, the flavor is just so much better. And it's because a lot of the flavor that we get out of a cigar is just from the wrapper. And the bigger you make the, the diameter of the cigar, you, you know, you're altering that wrapper to filler ratio. So in the large ring gauge, you're not smoking as much wrapper, you're smoking a lot more filler, at least in a proportional sense. And, yeah, it's, you get a lot more flavor out of a smaller ring, ring gauge. Now, you can take it to extremes, and, and I personally don't really like the, uh, like the Lanceros or, uh, what are those, Coronas. They're, they're just, I mean, it's okay, but it's too much like smoking a cigarette to me. I, I just don't enjoy them. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is the range that I really like. And I think the difference between a Toro and a Grand Toro is length. So this is more of a uh, longer than a, than a normal Toro. And that's great because I you know, get a longer smoke out of it. I'd rather... I'd rather go with a, with a longer length cigar than a larger diameter. So I, I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. I really have to get that, some yard work done. You know, winter's finally over and it's inevitable that there's gonna be branches down and stuff like that, so I gotta get that cleaned up. that I don't know. Baseball season started. The Phillies blew out the Braves yesterday. I, I wasn't unfortunately the, the, the one day out of the whole year that I don't want to have to travel for work <laughs> is Phillies opening day. Um, and I had actually planned to sneak out of work early to, to watch the game. But when my boss asked me if I could take this trip I couldn't very well say well no I'm planning on sneaking out of work early. So 
life goes on. But I got the game recorded. I do know the score because you know, I saw that in the uh, the reports after the game. But I'm, I got it recorded. I'm going to watch it tonight. And then there's a they play the Braves again tomorrow at four or so, four thirty, something like that. I I really have missed baseball. And when the season starts, that's when you, although the season is starting a lot earlier now than it used to, but at least you know that the warm weather is around the corner. And of course, in a very short time, I'll be complaining about how hot it is. So. Just the nature of the beast, I suppose. Beyond that, I've got uh, a fair amount of pipe work to, to do. And hopefully, I'll catch up on some of the sleep that I lost. Anyway, sorry I'm not too focused today and don't have any deep and compelling thoughts for you or anything like that. I'm just tired and feeling a bit like a zombie. I'm going to enjoy this cigar. Eat some dinner and watch the baseball game. So with that, folks, hope all's going well in your end. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.